Take a close look at this surveillance video. Police say it's a clear image of a sexual predator. You see him jumping a turnstile with a scooter. He's inside the Carroll Street train station. That's where he allegedly went after a 20-year-old woman. It was just after 6 Saturday morning. Police say he grabbed her from behind, covered her mouth, and forced himself on her. The two struggled. The woman yelled for help and was able to get away. Just three days before this, Police say the same man was seen on video dragging a 33-year-old woman down a staircase on West 69th Street on the Upper West Side. He apparently sexually assaulted that victim before running away and riding away on a scooter. Lisa Marie Labrera has lived in Carroll Gardens for 57 years. It is a bit scary to be in the subways now. Um, I've lived in this neighborhood my whole life, and I did hear about what happens here at Carroll Street, and I was a bit surprised, but then I'm not surprised. Police believe the man responsible for these sexual attacks is a 25-year-old with a thin build, a goatee, last seen wearing a Brooklyn Nets hat, a T-shirt with an American flag, a hoodie, ripped jeans, and white sneakers. We need to be more aware of our surroundings because you never know what's going to happen to you. The NYPD is looking into about 2,800 sex crimes reported so far this year. That's about a 12% increase from the same time frame last year. And this is not the only sex assault pattern police are investigating. From May to just last week, police say one man is responsible for at least three incidents, including an attack on a woman near Central Park West and West 82nd Street. Also on East 4th Street and Avenue A, a 28-year-old woman was assaulted the same way. In both incidents, the suspect took off on an e-bike. With at least two alleged sexual predators on the loose around the city, some women are being proactive about safety. Make sure to walk in the public. I carry mace. Um, that's all I could say. Watch your back. Watch your six.